in this module, we shall look at risk management in Salam as an Islamic mode of finance. Like in our previous two modules, we have looked into Murabha and Ijara in the context of Ijara Muntahiya Bitamlik, the risks and risk management. We would follow the same pattern in this module as well to see what kind of risks are there in different stages of Salam and how they can be mitigated. So, there are some pre sale risks and there are some post sale risks. Pre sale risks, there are withdrawal risks applicable to almost all the Islamic modes of finance because the bank always faces this risk of withdrawal of application before the uh, lease or sale agreement has been signed. And because in all these cases an asset is involved, an asset is going to be bought by the bank and it is going to be sold or leased to the customer, there is always a supply related risk and of course, of ownership related risk, they are applicable as well. Let us analyze a typical Salam financing deal to highlight these risks and possible mitigation of these risks. Again, pre transaction risks and post transaction risks. In case of Salam, an important risk before the Salam transaction has taken place is again withdrawal of application. But it is not a very significant risk, but we have to highlight it. It could be a possibility. After the Salam transaction has taken place, the price has been paid or received depending on who we are referring to, depending on what role the Islamic bank is uh, playing is it playing the role of a seller or the role of a buyer? So, depending on that one, once the price has been exchanged, after that there is a credit risk. Credit risk in the sense that the commodity is going to be delivered, and if there is a default, that would have implications for credit risk. Price, halanke pehle. Pay ki ja chuki hai. However, credit risk in the context of default on the delivery of the asset. Markup risk, like in case of Murabha, we mentioned that the Murabha price is fixed. Ho jati hai. Phir benchmark rate mein jo marzi tabdili aaye, that price cannot be changed. This point ko zara samajne. Especially in the advanced market, banks would like to have the option of changing the return whenever there is a change in what is known as the base rate. England may, for example, Bank of England base rate is considered as a benchmark. Ab agar us benchmark mein tabdili a jati, wo upar chala jata hai. So, banks would like to start offering financing according to that change. Financing mehengi kar deng. In case of Murabha, in case of Salam, the return gets fixed for the duration of financing. Hence, whatever happens to the benchmark rate, the bank's hands are tied. Bank cannot change the Salam price that is known as markup risk or benchmark rate risk. Commodity asset price risk is very much relevant to Salam transaction because at the end of the day a commodity is going to be delivered 
and its price is going to be very relevant to the profitability of the transaction. And of course, market risk in this case is very important as well. Anything happens in the market, there is a disruption, commodity is not available readily or it's not available at all. Then there would be problem. Now, from a seller seller's viewpoint, the operational risks are there, of course, which can be mitigated with the help of technology, training and audit. And we have mentioned previously as well, hence I'm not going to spend a lot of time on explaining parallel salam or wad. This is an important risk mitigation tool in case of a salam structure, salam as a mode of finance. So, commodity asset price risk that can be taken care of by parallel salam. Of course, its delivery can be taken care of, market risk can be taken care of by parallel salam or WAD. From seller, uh, from salam buyer viewpoint, again, these considerations are there. It's only that first we were looking this word. Now we are looking that word. So all the risks associated with the salam or parallel salam with the seller or the buyer, they are relevant. We have actually discussed and uh, covered this topic in great detail when we studied salam risk management in salam contract. That discussion is applicable to this module as well and the students are encouraged to once again watch that module to refresh their memory.